Today I want to talk about different options when it comes to fly fishing landing nets. First and foremost, uh, you want to get a net that's big enough to uh, handle the fish you're after, the species you're after, but not too big, uh, for example, if you want to carry it uh, on your wading trip. So for example, I like these slimmer silhouettes because you can tuck them in to your wading belt and you won't get stuck in the bushes. This landing net by Brodin is made of a uh, all wooden frame and it's not as white. Uh, that's what I like about this net because uh, it allows you to uh, handle a fish of 20 plus inches but um, like I said you won't get stuck in the bushes when you carry it behind your back. It features a ghost net that's uh, become pretty popular nowadays which means uh, this is a uh, clear colored net. It won't spook the fish as easily when you move in to net them and uh, these uh, soft uh, rubber nets are also soft on the fish on their uh, scales uh, for example and so if you practice a lot of catch and release fishing this is a great option. If you want a uh, landing net that's made from uh, another material such as aluminum um, the Opros for example is a good modern option. In this case it features a a dark rubber net but it also comes with a clear net. Um, this has a wider basket which makes uh, handling uh, fish and netting fish a little easier when you're not that experienced but like I said uh, it uh, might uh, get caught in the bushes uh, if you uh, tuck it into your back and uh, walk to the river. Another uh, aspect of a landing net that I want to mention is the depth of the basket. If you're after trout in a river to uh, let's say up to 20 inches, a uh, net depth like this one will do. It's about 12-14 inches. Whereas if you're fishing for sea trout for example, uh, landing nets like this one are uh, highly popular because you can expect a fish of 30 plus inches and it's a very tough fishing so the <laughs> least thing you want is to lose your fish because your net is not deep enough so there are these with very deep nets and then a somewhat similar style for example for uh, salmon fishing that uh, is also a very deep net you can also use it for a musky fishing for example but it has a wider opening for bigger fish and then last but not least uh, we have foldable landing nets. This one for example is used uh, for boat fishing because it has a longer handle and gives you more reach but these are also available uh, for weight fishing and um, they're just very practical if you're uh, out in the boat and then you want to tuck it away afterwards and you can just fold it up and uh, put it into your boat. So this gives you a good overview hopefully of the different types of landing nets that uh, there are out there. there are a, uh, there's a vast variety of options and uh, I hope this gave you a good idea of uh, what to look for when you want to get one yourself.